There's lots of scary costumes in Green Bay on Halloween night. What are you dressed as right now? Um, a bloody patient. <laughs> That's a pretty cool costume. Why did you decide to go as that? To be kind of scary. It's definitely a scary costume. You're too quick for me. I'll get it next time. <laughs> but when it comes to scary costumes and yards, Tim Janowski might win the Halloween prize. The devil kind of looks scary. What's your favorite part of it? Um, the guy handing out the candy up there. The man behind the devil mask isn't just trying to be scary. He's hoping to make Halloween fun for the kids in his neighborhood. What's it like for you to see the kids' faces when they're you know, seeing the decorations in the house for the first time? It makes me really happy. The haunted display, 12 years in the making. Each year, Janowski adds new spooks to the mix. I went to it before last year. That's how I like, knew, but like when I went here, I never seen that big skeleton. Spooky and a highlight of Halloween night, not just for the little kids. What did you think of the house? Oh, I'm scared. But the older kids as well. It's like the best house in this neighborhood, so if you want to see like a big thing of decorations, it's pretty cool to go and visit. Another successful year. Keep adding until uh, my wife says it's too much. In Green Bay. Happy Halloween! Paul Stino, Local 5 News.